haven't talked to you for a while. Um, how did that help or happen? Do, were you in Tampa when all of a sudden? I was training in Miami. In Miami. Yeah, I got, and I got sick. Right. Yeah, I was down for a couple weeks. How tough was it for, you know, you, you wanted to play some of mm -hmm. How tough was that? Yeah, man, it was it was it was difficult because I I mean I had trained really hard uh, to go to summer league, prepare, and uh, and and play again and actually uh, get some run, get some minutes. So I you know I prepared a lot, got my body ready, and then COVID just kind of hit me, yeah. and then um, you know I was out for like ten days, and then I was able to start doing some stuff like on the bike and uh, doing some push-ups in my room. So uh, was it tough to come back? Like were you weakened? Yeah, I lost some weight, but I had to put it back on actually pretty quick. But I definitely lost weight. Uh, the first week, week and a half, two weeks, it was tough to get my win back. But once I got it back, you know, I just kept pushing to get my conditioning right for camp. Speaking of that, what are some of the things that you worked on this summer? Yeah, really just getting my body right, putting on some more muscle, putting on some weight, uh, really working on my conditioning. I really wanted to go this, uh, into this year uh, really well conditioned for the season. Uh, and uh, so, and then just working really on all aspects of my game. Knocking down shots, uh, getting into the paint, finishing, uh, passing, working on a lot of defense this summer too. So, you know, I was kind of working on everything. What, what uh, I mean, we were told you definitely wanted to play in the summer league. You know, I guess they left it up to you. What, what was the motivation uh, to play in Vegas? Well, why were you volunteering? Uh, I mean, honestly, it was it was kind of a personal decision. Uh, Tibbs said that uh, he really wanted me to play. He said it was ultimately my decision. Uh, though I talked to him uh, this summer, but I, I wanted to play. I wanted to go out there. Uh, there's nothing wrong with playing. It's basically just organized pickup, just playing in front of guys, uh, playing with some of the new rookies, uh, just getting up and down. Uh, a lot of guys play pickup in the summer, but I think it was a great opportunity for me to go to summer league, you know, hoop, play a lot of minutes, uh, and really just get up and down this summer. So far, back at training camp and all, do you feel something different? I mean, do you feel a little more comfortable maybe in Tom's system or like how, how has it been so far? Yeah, training camp's been great. I mean, I think a lot of the guys, you know, started off uh, just getting our win back. I was here in the fall though for like two, three weeks before doing a lot of stuff with uh, a lot of the other players. But training camp's been really good. I think a lot of the guys are building the chemistry. And I think personally for myself, it's uh, doing really well. Just really focused on the defensive end, uh, rebounding, making shots, just putting in extra work after practice and before. You know, obviously, Last season, once it turned February, you weren't in a regular rotation spot. Mm -hmm. This year, you know, they drafted a couple guys. And I mean, what's your feeling about, you know, being in a rotation and getting playing time? I mean, I just know I just got to compete for it. I mean, uh, everything uh, Tibbs preaches competing, uh, working for your spots, working for your minutes. So that's kind of what my mindset is going into the camp, uh, just really working hard for my minutes, working hard to get into the rotation. Uh, so that's kind of really been my mo uh, motivation and, and my, kind of like my mindset really going into camp and going into the season that I know I'm going to have to play hard on both ends of the uh, basketball court, play with energy on both sides if I really want to be on the court. Yeah, Tom had mentioned if you're not, you know, you're a shot maker, uh -huh. but if your shots aren't falling, we need him to also contribute stuff. Mm -hmm. Like anything in particular that Thomas said, listen, we need you to do A or B or something that he specified? Uh, not really. I mean, he, he really preaches if, if your shot's not going in or if you're having a bad shooting day, what, can, what else can you bring to the team? And I think for myself, using my length, using my height and my body to really uh, focus on rebounding and, and uh, defending on the other ends because when I really lock in, I can really guard one through four. So I think that's kind of really wants to, wants to see from me, really locking on that end. Because uh, he knows what I could do on the offensive end. I think he just wants to see that defensive energy, the rebounding, and just really flying in transition, just using my body, using my length, uh, really all over the court. What's it been like having uh, Julius on the team? You know, seeing him win most improved last year, mm -hmm. how has he impacted your game? Yeah, I mean, just to see the way he works, it kind of motivates uh, pretty much myself and everyone else on the team. And, uh, you know, he worked for that most improves. He works for the season he did last year. So that kind of just pushes us to work harder. And uh, seeing what he did last year, you know, that's something that all players want to do, to be able to take that, that take that huge jump as a personal and as a team. So I think just watching him work, watching him play, and the way that uh, how hard he works, it kind of motivates everyone. Okay, you're, you know, you're in the final year of your rookie contract. Uh -huh. You know, there's a lot of, you know, because you 
realize you're not a set person in rotation, you have mm -hmm. to compete for it, that maybe your future is up in the air. I mean, do you expect to be here all season, or are you wondering like what what might happen if you're not like locked into a, a claim rule? Yeah, I mean, right now, I mean, there's really no like uh, solidified, uh, you know, minutes solidified starters and, and, and bench players. So we're really just going into the, like I said, going into camp, going into the season with the right mindset that I, I really want to play this year. So I'm gonna have to figure out what I gotta do to stay on the court and get minutes. So I'm really not really worried about, uh, you know, the, the trades and everything else, the, and stuff like that. I'm really just worried about getting rotation, getting minutes, and being able to be on the court. Yeah. So you were a lot in Miami mm -hmm. over the summer. Yeah. Time. Now, why not Tampa? I was in Tampa. in Tampa. Yeah, I was Tampa, but Tampa's like three, four hours from yeah. Miami. So my mom and dad lived there. So I was training in Miami for a little bit. Yeah, gotcha. All right, good. All right. Thanks, Miami. Appreciate you. Miami's a little nicer. Yeah, it's a lot nicer. A lot nicer. But Tampa's nice, though. Tampa's nice. Yeah, Tampa's nice. It's fine.